morning everyone today I am going to be doing a painting on a 20 inch by 20 inch canvas this is the uh, first time I'm doing this on a larger canvas I'm a little nervous a little excited I've decided to do a split cup Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna start in the center and then I think in between layers I'll add a little bit of the flow extender and then I'll go on to the next set of colors. center I just like that green I'm not a green fan but that sure is pretty oops big clump another clump get those out when we tip So I should put gloves on for this part. Sorry. Just like that, I have gloves on. So let's see. 
I like the green. Let's take that way first, though. I'm really glad I did the uh, primary colors on the outside or on the inside. I really like them. Hopefully I'm going to have this all in camera for you. really like what's happening over here and I know it's gonna fall off I don't want it to maybe I can catch some of it nope there she goes all right let me turn this around did tape my backs and um, put my push pins in and made sure it was all level. There goes that cloth. Good. Go this way. I'm dripping all over my floor. This is the largest canvas I've done. So um, it just fits on my table that I'm currently using. And now I have a mess all over my floor. Nothing a little soap and water won't fix. Oh, look at that. I don't want to get rid of the facels. Have it just all the primary. Bye bye, pink. Oh, maybe I'll keep this cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Everything that you see on the table will get scooped up, used for a base coat and a later painting after I make my magnets, which I won't be able to show you today on the video because I have to leave this on the table. I don't have a place to store it at the moment. All right, oh, I love that. I'm amazed with that green. Turquoise green. I'll just touch that up in a minute. I'll just use some of the drips on the table to clear that off. That is beautiful. All right, let's see. I need to put the towel, wipe off some of the stuff so I can torch it. Which I should have done before I actually, before I, um, tipped it out, I should have torched bypass that part. Okay, so let's torch it out now. 
I don't think you guys are in full view. I think right there looks good. I hope. out any air bubbles. I don't think there was any silicone in that um, my flow extender so we should be good but I do have little tiny spots coming up from the pastel colors. I can't really tell what color they are at this angle but we'll find out in a little bit. So I am now clear on my workspace over there. So I'm going to try and move this and show you um, how I do the magnets. Okay, so I have these little four by six canvases that I buy at the dollar store. And it's just something that I, I'll, after it's all dry, I'll put a magnet on the back. And they're cute for little magnets on the refrigerator. Um, normal, my normal size is like one inch by one inch or one and a half inch by one and a half inch. If you've watched my previous videos, you can see those. So I think I'm going to go right here because this is bigger. I need some more space. I might take a round and put it in this puddle, but for now, let's do this. I just drop it in there and I'll lift it straight up. So I have some clear corners so I can try to go back in and maybe pick up some of the blues or oh, I have some pretty stuff over here let's just dip that and I'll just pull that onto the I don't know if I put, did that in camera but I just pulled there was a white spot on the corner I just pulled that and when it's all done I'll paint the sides either a black or a white depending on the the color options. This looks to be really light colored so I probably use a lighter edge. Uh, let's see where do I want to put that one? How about right here? See there's a little white there so I'm just gonna pull that. Just pull that down. Kind of blend it in a little bit and I have one more side and I don't want to touch this because I want to use that for my round. So how about we'll try this area here that looks kind of wicked. And then there you have it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So like I said I'll go around after it dries and um, I'll paint the edges white for this particular one. And then when it's all done, I'll put a, a magnet, an adhesive magnet on the back. And uh, I'll show you the dried results of those when those are done. So I'm gonna set this aside and get around. Okay. So here's a little round. I bought these in a six pack. And um, what I'm going to do is just drop that right in the paint. Oh, where, where, where? I'd like some of that green and I'd also like some of this. Oh. Um, let's drop it here. And I'm so creative. I use popsicle sticks to pick it up. Sometimes I drop it, sometimes it flips right over. So we'll see. Look at that. That is beautiful. I am missing a spot over here. I'm not too concerned about that. If it doesn't eventually flow that way, I can always just touch that with white paint later after it dries. And 
I will use a little Dixie cup to hold this up off the table so it doesn't drip or it doesn't stick to the, the vinyl. And all of this mess will be put into a cup and mixed and used in a later pour. So I'll bring you in for a close up for the, the wet results. So here are the wet results. I just love how it, the rings just showed up so beautifully. And I think that is the only spot that contains the pastels. Everything else is the primary colors that I chose. And my shadow is showing up on the video and I'm very sorry. Look at that green. I just love it. And that corner. So pretty. I'm very happy that I did the primary second. They are bright and cheery and so beautiful. Look at that. Love that. And then this corner is the reds and oranges. Like how that looks like little fingers or something right there. So cute. And when it dries, I'll figure out what pastel colors those dots are. I'm sure that they're from the pastels. I have a lot of them in there too. They're so pretty though, they add character. I kind of wish I had a couple in the green. So that's the wet results. Stay tuned for the dry. So this is the dry results. I love all the brilliant colors. Very bright. And I'll show you the man in green. I see a face. Try and do this. I see an eye there, a nose, a sad, angry mouth, he's got a hat on, there's a little ear there, and that's the rest of his hat. There might even be a little horn there coming out of his head. Do you see it? Let me know in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and leave a nice comment. Thanks. Have a great night.